So we came here to climb that. Where we're at. You can see he just looks out. And instead we got this. Get I need, away. I You're a fucking asshole. Air. I don't care. Oh. Suck it up like the rest. Hey everybody. What's going on? It is Thor and your buddy dude, man. Hi baby. And uh we are taking, yeah, you can get some of that sweat. That's good stuff. Taking a little break. We're on, uh, I think we're getting ready to start the fourth mile, hiking up in Temesco Canyon. That's the one thing I love about uh, California. I've been doing this, this is the coming up on the end of day three of this juice cleanse. And it is, uh, you know, it's psychologically difficult. It's, um, I'm also caffeine free. So that part is definitely physically difficult. You know, everything's psychologically difficult. I, you know, I always, for the last, um, like seven, eight months, started my day with coffee. And then would usually, by the end of the last, like, three months, four months here, I was doing, like, two coffees and then starting the whole soda routine there's something about like the memory of going back to ohio and drinking mountain dew yeah if you can believe that i hate to even admit it but yeah it, it was comfort it was good but i know how bad it is for me which is funny because i literally haven't had that you know since i was probably maybe in uh college so I'm gonna pause for just a minute, and let these people pass. Okay, maybe I should have left the camera on. Lots of pretty gals passing here. And I'm sitting down here dying, and they're running. Um, so anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, so yeah, I haven't had, you know, soda. I've, I've had some Diet Cokes and stuff like that, but not any like heavy sugar and stuff like that. Um, and especially like Mountain Dew, I haven't had that probably since college maybe um you know food is something you can get addicted to for comfort i'm sure everybody knows i i, I venture to believe that at this point you know uh, most people have experienced some sort of gratification you know comfort uh, stability using food and um you know and if you haven't then just wait till you have a few uh, when you run into a few crises, you know, it's, it's possible. So I, th I think the main thing that for me was I got off track. You know, I've, I've been a total of five years of my life, um, surgeries, rehabilitations, injuries. Uh, I was a rugby player for about seven, eight years. Uh, I've always played volleyball and, um, and basketball. My injury started with basketball in college. You know, when I was 18, I had my first ACL blowout of my knee. I uh, had a guy pull me down off the rim, and uh, I was spinning. My foot, uh, you know, made contact with the surface, and my knee kept twisting. It just rotated around like a clock, and that's all she wrote. I literally passed out, and uh, only because I don't remember anything but opening my eyes and a bunch of people around me praying. So I, I don't know. I'm pretty good with pain, so I don't understand. Um, I mean, I don't like it, but uh, I've had enough of it that, you know, I don't know, it was really weird. But anyway, I, that was the beginning of, uh, you know, my journey into why I'm a rehabilitation specialist now. I help people heal, I help people heal from injuries, pre-surgery, post-surgery, and um, so anyway, food, I, I, you know, I just took too long after, of not getting back on the horse with um, being active. You know, if I couldn't play volleyball at the time, then Pee I'm not gonna do anything. You know, and then I just started uh, getting in the habit of, you know, using, um, food and drink and you know to to keep me uh what i thought was comfortable and little by little it just added up and then you know last year at the same time i did a 30-day juice cleanse and i lost 36 pounds 
and it was very spiritual journey, not having anything to run home to. And uh, it was healthy for my body too. I noticed all my joints stopped aching so much and um, there were so many really good benefits to it. And, uh, and then dude man came up lame and uh, you know, and then I, I was kind of grounded for a while and then he had both his surgeries and then he had a blind eye and it's just been one thing after another thing after another thing so now i mean he's still got the blind eye but we're able to you know exercise and actually exercising is good for him yeah so you can see that right eye we're working on that one that's the one that's inflamed and uh keeping the blood circulation is important for that so anyway, after, you know, almost a year ago, actually a year ago, uh, I did that juice cleanse and then it took me that long to put all the weight back on. I actually put on even more than last time. So I had 250, gone up to 255 and then I dropped 10 pounds before starting the juice cleanse because I started really running with him every day and, um, that was, you know, what really catapulted, um, you know, got us started. But even after that, like, it's one thing to start doing our hikes and our stair climbs and all of that. And, you know, and it's another thing to address the food. Because if I'm doing all this work and I'm not eating right, then I'm not going to get much of the reward of the work. You know, I'll get some of it, but I'm still not going to feel... Uh, like a million bucks, I'm not going to feel amazing. I'm watching that fly by his mouth. He's going to try to eat it in a minute. He does not like flies around his mouth. And uh, oh, I just got it's a mosquito. Okay. I loathe mosquitoes, and they have found me. So we're going to start walking again. Come on, buddy, this way. Up, go. Go. So we're going to start walking again. I did not want to sit around and end up with mosquito welts. So anyway, now we've come back to this point where it's, uh, you know, I need to make a change again. I want to get back to the healthy me. And, uh, sorry, I bumped the button. So it's time to get back into gear here, get back to health. And my body moves a lot better when I have 40 pounds less. So day three, we're down 10 pounds. Now we're at 235. So now I've got 30 left to go, which uh, we shall do. I'm gonna keep on trekking. I expect no less than 10 a week. Um, so we're actually ahead of schedule. Who knows, maybe there was just some stuff that needed to get cleared out. Maybe that's not part of my actual fat. But uh, yeah. Um, anybody else is gonna do this no caffeine, no, well, juice cleanse, or if you even decide to do uh, just straight vegetable, which, you know, that's fine too. If you do vegetables, but no, like no dressing and stuff like that on it. Or just, you know, balsamic vinaigrette, I guess you could do. I'm sorry, balsamic vinegar. Not even the vinaigrette. Dude, stay there. Hey, hey. Hey, stay there. I don't know what that is, but you probably don't want to. Something running around in the bushes. So, you can see why I'm tired. We have hiked almost to the top of this thing. I gotta go just over this ridge here, which will, I don't know, I've never been up this way. I imagine it winds up that way. But we came from way on the other side of that hill. Um, and yeah, I, uh, Wanted my juice before I left. I decided to save it for when I got home. 
and just a lot of praying and meditating. Every morning I get up, I pray, and then I meditate for 20 minutes. And uh, it's because I have to. If I don't meditate, then my head's really going. I already got out of the habit. That's what I did last year, and I got in a real good habit of meditating. And then, you know, it just fell out of the habit. Instead of clearing my mind and getting emotionally stable, I'd come home at the end of the night and say, yeah, screw it, I'm just gonna order a pizza. And I would do that, eat a whole pizza. I remember doing two nights in a row, eating a whole pizza. Talking about it right now sounds really good. Although I know it's not good. Go, boy. Come on. That's it, buddy. How we doing? What's that? Mask. Oh, no, I would never suffocate myself like that. Oh, well, thank you so much I for need being clean. so fucking selfish. I, I need, Get out. Get I need, away. I You're a fucking asshole. Air. I don't care. Oh. Suck it up like the rest. You're all the way on the mountain. Sorry, I'm not going to harm myself. I hope you find peace, what you're looking for. Wow, that was that was awesome. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so glad I have this... Uh, camera running right now to capture that this is what i deal with los angeles no mask Rawr. people are so devastatingly angry and just so misled all right let me show you what i'm looking at now so now we made it all the way to the top and those are the Houses up on the hills. I guess it goes up a little bit higher there, maybe another 30 feet. We're not gonna crawl through snake land to go another 30 feet. Um, boy, yeah, so just some nasty people with this whole, I mean, you're outside on a mountain. Outside on a mountain. And I've already passed like 20 people. They immediately put their, how you doing? They immediately put their masks on, like good little mask holes and, and, uh, and they give me a dirty look. So it's, you can see the ocean right down there. This is why I put up with that stuff too, because I get to hike up in the mountains and then go down play in the ocean. I mean, you can't ask for anything better as far as a place to live, except that I am all about Matt's idea on Quantum of Conscience. Matt talking about, uh, let's go this way, buddy, a uh, 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 community. I mean, I don't imagine it would be quite so perfect to be able to, okay, after you, to be able to get a community here in, um, California, I mean, that, uh, I would, I would die if that was possible, but I, I, I honestly feel like just cost and all that stuff, uh, who knows, maybe, I, I don't know, just other logistics about it, but I feel like it probably is not possible here in California, at least not down here, I mean, we'd have to go middle of California, maybe t between Santa Barbara and Santa Cruz, something like in there, or even Northern California, or on a lake or on a river. I definitely would want to be by water. Um, although a river they could certainly dam up and screw us over, but anyway, uh, it is awful with these people and their masks. Uh, you know, it's not about the mask, obviously. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I tell people, if you're so afraid, you stay the fuck inside. You know what I mean? You stay inside. You hide. 
Uh, it's, I, I don't even I don't even know what I'll say about it anymore. I don't think there's anything to say about it anymore. Just to uh, keep on keeping on. How's it going, man? Pretty good. How are you? Fantastic. So I make sure to say hello to everyone. I'd say about 80% of the people say hello. There's 20% though that they'll walk right by you. They won't say a word. And I always say, hey, how you doing? And if they don't say anything, I go, okay. <laughs> All right, it's gonna be like that. So, I've got another group. Let's see how this goes. Oh, wow, what a. What an incredible, okay, now we're at the tippy top here. And that is, you can see obviously the coastline down there. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I know about it. And, uh, hey, how are we all doing? Fantastic, another day in paradise. some nice ones. Get the sweat out of my eye. Whew. Oh my, 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 my. I'm gonna pause real quick and take a picture. I'll be right back. All right, so we got a nice picture and uh, you can see those guys right over my shoulder as we came up. The dad's telling them, put your mask on, put your mask on, put your mask on. You know, and I always wonder some of these people if like, do they tell their kids to put their mask on because they're worried about them or, or most likely the majority of what I find when I have conversations with people is that they're actually just concerned about offending the other person. But as you can see, I will never ever live my life worrying about offending another person. You know, if it's doing no harm, then I'm not going to waste two thoughts on it. And, uh, okay, so to be honest with you, this is my first time <laughs> up this way. Uh, I really don't know where I'm at. So give me one second. I'm gonna check the map and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. We checked the map and all right, that way. And besides checking the map, I actually had a guy who was running, and I saw him running. He has a mask on. He has a face covering on. And uh, he saw me trying to take a picture of myself that it, it didn't work out because I had shadows. And so he actually, uh, with his face covering and in the middle of his run, he said, did you get a good picture? And I said, no, nah, not really. He's like, you want me to take a picture? He actually took the phone, got within six feet of me, took the phone and, uh, you know, took a picture for us. Taking a few, just, okay. So I'm really grateful that, the, again, you know, he has a mask on, who knows if he's just wearing it for, you know, to be socially acceptable. Um, but either way, he stopped and was a, nice fella taking a picture for us and um, I'm grateful for that so anyway I won't keep yapping on I just wanted to let everybody know juice cleanse is working well and anybody else out there who's trying to get healthy you know I have a mother I'm trying to convince to do something like this she has a literally a life-threatening dis-ease of her arteries and they need to be cleared and the doctors want to put in a stent here and a stent there but the problem is her body's riddled with clog I was gonna say cloggages but uh just gonna get creative uh riddled with blockages you know clogging and uh so anyway the only way to deal with once you get to that point where you have blockages to where it's, you know, you're having trouble with cardiovascular exchange 
the only way to deal with it is to do a total body transformation to naturally food got you into that predicament food can get you out of that predicament so you have to have to have to have to do something radical if you're going to let somebody cut into your heart and put stents in there then you know people think that it's radical to do a 30 day or 60 day juice cleanse it's obscene it's it's so it's insane to me here's why i live in california that's quite beautiful you want to see buddy come here oh i like the oops i bumped the button again i like to show dude man what's out there he can't see he's too short so I pick him up. He appreciates seeing the beauty of where we're at. You can see he just looks out over the landscape. Isn't it pretty, buddy? You know, every day he can see is another blessing. So I am always making sure he gets a chance to see as much as possible. Because I never know what day might be turned for the worse in the eye. I'm certainly doing everything to work towards uh, correcting the right eye and keeping the left eye very safe. And it seems, you know, according to the natural path I'm working with, she's confident we should be able to accomplish that with this liver cleanse we're doing. You know, we're just going one step, another step. If this doesn't work, then we'll try that, then we'll try that. You see, he's going real fast now. He knows we're going back down. We're almost done, which usually means food. So he wants his reward. So anyway, um, yeah, so mom's arteries are riddled with, you know, and she was getting emotional the other day when I was trying to talk to her. Before, she's very, I don't believe in what you believe, you know? I'm like, it's not belief, it's science. It's just absolute science, you know? But, but it's really hard for people to think about giving up their lifestyle, you know? I woke up and drank a pot of coffee for 50 years of my life, and now I'm not gonna do that? It's scary. But it's that or the alternative, which is death. And I want my mom to stay around, you know. I really hope, I hope I have grandkids before she goes, you know. Um, she deserves that. And, you know, and I want the grandkids she has now to, you know, really get the benefit from the wisdom she has. In this crazy world, they need all the help they can get. So, anyway, this is something I've been trying to get her to do, just 30 day juice cleanse. First time in 73 years you've done a juice cleanse. You know, just try it, you know. You don't have to do it forever, just do it now. Hey, how's it going? Slow down, dude, man. You know, it's just, uh, you don't have to do it forever. Just now until we get past the scary part. Dude, man, hold up. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? How you doing? How you doing? All right. So... I don't know, she was emotional the other day, which was unusual. She's usually not quite like that, although she had a couple other complications just from the catheter. She let them go rum rummaging around her body and uh, lost some blood from that, had a complication, ended up spending a night or two in the hospital. I think it was a night, maybe. But that should tell you, you know, my, my way with the juice cleanse, you're not gonna get hurt. <laughs> You know, doctors, boy, there's all kinds of things that could go wrong. 
So, you know, anyway. Anyway, I hope this helps inspire a few people. I will keep checking in periodically. It might be every few days or whatever. I got a, a few big projects going on right now. And uh, so, but I'm going to try to keep up with it. And uh, thank you guys for listening. Appreciate it. We'll see you next time. That smell good? Hey, it's me. Dude, I'm right here, buddy. Yeah, baby. All right, put your thinking caps on. Fourteen hundred feet, four miles, two hours. You ready for that treat? Yeah, let's go get that treat. I'm still running. Not me, I'm not. What a good boy, what a good boy, are you ready for some treats, are you ready for some treats, are you ready for some treats, for some treats, for some treats, I want to get some treats.